Hi, classical singer community. My name is Jennifer Rowley, and I am backstage at the Metropolitan Opera, and we are getting ready for Act 3 of Puccini's Tosca. And I just wanted to take a moment and make a quick video for you. I want to talk to my dramatic voices out there, my big voice tenors, my big voice sopranos, baritones, basses. And I wanted to talk to you guys about lightening it up and keeping it fresh for the good of your vocal health. So in Tosca, between Act 2 and Act 3, Tosca undergoes a pretty big change. And Act 2 has some really heavy, really dramatic music, and it can take a toll on the voice. So what I like to do in between Act 2 and Act 3 is do what I call my hoo hoo ha has <laughs> and lighten the voice back up a little bit. So, things like this. <laughs> up. <laughs> and even up high. <laughs> nice and bright and fresh. You can also do something like this. Very lightly, very quiet, very bright, nice and clean, full vocal fold closure. So no air coming through, no nothing, not, nothing like that. Very, very clean and clear. The other thing that you can do to kind of get the voice to calm down after you've had some you know, really heavy singing, really heavy staging, lots of drama, you can do a little straw phonation. So you take a big fat straw like this, and you start in the lower part of the voice, and basically you just do some slides to kind of massage the edges of the folds. So it's a kind of sound. And you can see that the larynx is a nice low position, nice and relaxed, not depressed, but not like up super high, nice and relaxed in the throat. And you can change the shape of the tongue, you can change the shape of the mouth, but you want to really use this to kind of massage the edges of the vocal folds. You can do it up a little bit higher. to help the switch in, in between the passaggio as well. And you can do it up higher than that, but it's a little harder. <laughs> Curtain's going up for act three of Tosca. So I'm gonna be in here doing my hoo hoo ha ha's until I go out for Il Tuo Sangue, the first aria in act three. But I wanted to pass these tips on to you guys for in between acts when you're doing big roles, dramatic roles, and you've got a lot of big singing just to kind of keep the voice light and bright and fresh, young, youthful, and healthy. Hope it's helpful and see you soon.